Vez, I don't see any bed probe on your printer. How the heck are you doing your bed leveling? Well, let's just find out. So as you know me, I like the very simple things and no, I don't run any bed probe on my printer, but it might change very soon because I'm waiting for that new beacon sensor from Annex Engineering and that's going to be quite awesome. But so far, I've been a big fan of the keep it simple. So I don't have any bed probe. I do it manually. I have a bed screw on each corner of the bed and I just manually adjust the level to have four corners perfectly level for the printer. And I'm going to show you how I do this on the VZBot, which has a single Z motor with dual Z screw. And that's super simple. And that is also valid for people running a bed probe because even if you do a bed mesh with um, bed automatic bed leveling it's always best to have your bed as level as possible before you do your bed mesh um, because it's just going to allow you to use less compensation from clipper uh, automatic bed leveling so you have less z motor moving while you're printing because it's tried to compensate for a side that is not level so you're not going to have that and if you're perfectly level you're not going to even need to have automatic bed leveling like i do if you have a good bed plate a mix six bed plate that is super flat and you have a good magnet that is also super flat then um, you just do it manually like i do and once you've done it it's good to go for months i never touch that again um, and you're good to go so that's very simple very effective but yeah you need to have a very good bed plate to do that so let's just take a look at how I do it and we'll see you are now looking at a VZ330 but the same procedure will apply to that VZ235 because they both share the same Z system which is a single motor with dual lead screw so let's take into consideration that you already installed everything and that you made sure that both lead screws and the bed assembly is set at the same height and you do this. I'm going to put the link in the description below. I've made a video about that. Um, but yeah, basically you made sure that your, your bed is completely down and sitting on, on both sides. Um, the bearing here is hitting both, both sides. So you know um, that is a good time to tighten your bed pulleys so once you've done that and this has been done on this this system the next step is to give it a bit of tension on those bed silicon spacer if you don't screw them and pre-compress them that means there's only going to be a way to tighten it more but you won't be able to unscrew them to adjust the height of the bed so give it a pre-tension that way you have an adjustment in both up and down on that bed so this has been done on this system. We're ready to do the next step. Next step is very simple. You bring your print head in the middle of your bed like that. And you are ready to move your bed up and you're gonna try to hit that nozzle with the bed. So you do that manually. You're just gonna bring that bed up with playing with this. So in this case, um, let me try to focus on here. So yeah, you move it up until you hit that nozzle and don't force it, just touch it like that. If you cannot reach that nozzle, it means that your adjustment screw for the bed height here is not set properly. So just unscrew that, give it a bit more loose. So this is your stop switch right here. Um, yeah, you, can you see that? Yes, you see it on the VZ235 is going to be in the back left corner. So um, if you can't reach that bed, I mean that nozzle, unscrew that, give it some loose. But on this case, I am set to hit that nozzle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the height with that screw. I'm going to tighten it until I can hear that switch triggering. I'm not too sure if you hear that, but that's right here. about here yeah I hear that switch now or you could use clipper and just query your, your end stop to see if that's going to trigger so right now it's set to trigger at that height which is the height where the nozzle touches the bed 
So we are ready to do the next step. All right, we are now ready to do a home Z, uh, but just another safety precaution I like to do just before I give it another test. One last test, I grab the bell and I watch that stop switch here. I lower it down and it's triggering and I don't feel any force. So that means I'm not forcing against that nozzle. So I'm good and I'm ready to now just do a home Z and that's gonna home there you go and if we take a look at that nozzle height now um, and you're gonna be experienced with that now you can use a piece of paper or I normally just use my eye I can take a look and I know for sure that it's not uh, high enough for now but the good old technique of using a piece of paper and you put it under and you need to feel a bit of restriction so that means you're good on the height so it's not high enough so what I'm gonna do to give it more height I'm gonna unscrew this a bit I'm gonna home again and it's triggering and I'm gonna take again that piece of paper and I'm gonna check the height so we do this until we have the perfect height then we're ready for next step all right, now we have that Z height completely set. We know that this is the desired height for our print. And we are ready to adjust all four corners to that same height. So um, to do this, very simple, there's a built-in function on Clipper screen that will allow you to do this. So um, just before we're gonna home all axis, I'm just gonna disable all motors because right now we are uh, touching the bell and I don't want that nozzle to scratch. So I'm just going to home all axis now. Home all. And it's going to home. And we're going to use that built-in function uh, to adjust the height on each corner. That's very simple. So it's going to home Z. And now we're going to use clipper screen. In configuration right here, there is a function bed level. And that is when you set up your four corners. It's called a bed screw position or something like that. I'm going to put that um, right here so you can see that. It's called bed screw and you define your position. It's already defined here. We're going to go with the first corner. So it's going to move to first corner and it's going to go down. So from here, what you do, um, again, with a piece of paper or, or from what you see, you're going to adjust the height of that. So I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna screw it and unscrew it until it touches that nozzle. Like that is perfect. We're gonna do next corner. So it's gonna go on that next corner. There you go. And it looks already pretty good. Just to make sure I'm gonna lower and unscrew about here is good I touched that nozzle we're gonna do the next corner in the back all right and again um, you take a look at that you use that rear screw and you adjust I first crank it and then I unscrew it until nozzle touches the bed there we go we do the last corner Okay, same thing again. I screw until it doesn't touch that nozzle. And then I unscrew until the bed touches the nozzle. All right, so we have done four corners. What I normally do now, I do a last run. So I go back to first corner in the front. I checked that level and might need a little adjustment because moving all other corners might affect the whole height. So you do a final checkup. You go on the other corner. You check the height and that's perfect. So you check all four corners and then you finally adjust that and then you're good to go. That means your bed is level per 
um, your your X gantry. So um, last step is now that we have the bed completely leveled to perfection, at least to the best that we could do, um, we're gonna do a final check on the Z height because obviously we have played with the force crew so the bed uh, height might have changed just a bit so we're gonna do another uh, Z home with the print head in the middle so we're just gonna disable motors or you could have lower your bed I'm gonna lower the bed so it doesn't scratch the nozzle on the bed all right and then uh, just for safety measure I will manually raise that bed and double check that I'm still able to trigger that switch with the screw because just in case since the height might have moon when we touched all the screws it's a final safety precaution so now you're ready let's do a last home on Z and it's gonna home and now you take a piece of paper or with your eyes from what you see if you're your your experience with that as I am <laughs> you're able to see if that height is perfect and in this case it is completely perfect if it was not perfect if it's not high or too low then you adjust home again adjust until you have your good height so now you're set with your height you're set with the bed level you are ready to print so what I normally do when I'm ready to print I am gonna print something um, that will have a part here a part here one on each corner and one in the middle and from what I see I do a final kind of manual adjustment to make sure everything is perfect and then everything is ready you could also use um, for the final height adjustment you could also use the built-in function inside clipper screen. So when you print, um, you go under the uh, adjustment and there is a micro adjustment for Z height. And once you're done, the print job is done. We'll ask you if you want to store this in your clipper config. Just say yes. Or if you prefer, you can do the micro adjustment with that screw. So that was it. I hope that is useful for people um, that are building VZBot. So it looks complicated because I made that video long, but it's super easy. It takes one minute to do when you know what you're doing. And now that you know what you're going to do, then it's going to take you one or two minutes and you'll be done and you don't touch that level anymore. It's going to stay good, stay level for as long as you don't have to work physically on the printer and or if you accidentally <laughs> do it, the, um, if you accidentally touch that level screw. But other than that, you're good to go. Um, once in a while, if you see your print started to not have uh, the height, you may have to readjust while you print, but I rarely, rarely do this. It's always gonna stay very, very level. So thank you for watching and um, see you on the next one. Thanks guys, have a good one, bye-bye.